Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, for their wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the points. Tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Here once more is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Golden. All right, Herb Dean, our referee Three, for this one, just about Good. to get underway. Good. All right, we are ready to go here at the start of round one for this stand-up only event. So grapplers need not apply. We outlined the rules off the top, but here's your refresher. No grappling of any type. We also point out fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the ground. Let's see if the combatants play by the rules here as our first round gets underway. Counters with the straight leg. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, beautiful job to snap his head back with that counter strike. So he's landed several of his patented counters here in this round, really doing an excellent job, not just with his offensive timing, but with his defensive skills as well. And now they are thrown on both sides with conviction. Right now they separate. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Nice straight right lands. Just over two minutes to go. Well, it's not always easy being a counter striker, but when you can execute the style this effectively, it really is something to behold. You'll see he'll try to draw the opponent in here yet again. And as oh, he's hooked now. Let's get busy with those hands. 
Wow, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. He lands a switch kick there. Nicely done to the body. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents it. Oh, Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Ten seconds to go in the round. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start oh, looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you would. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Whiffs on that offering. Nice left hand. Slips to avoid that left. Straight punch, it's there again. Nice body shot. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice jab. Oh, and he caught the kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice crack there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Good punch land. Oh, and that kick is blocked. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively, or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is... Oh, oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Effective with the jab. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, big elbow. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many.
You ready to fight? You ready? Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this he, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he wants to try to chase down that fish. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and then showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, not a bad strategy to continue to attack that eye, but clearly, as you see, that one was blocked. So defensively, he's doing a better job getting the hands up to prevent any further damage. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, DC kind of just playing with him. Oh, my God! Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Russia. And there is the man of the moment. And what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's life. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.